Hi all. Welcome back to DevOps Camp. This is the next video of the Docker Hands on Tutorial series. In today's video, we'll go through managing containers with Docker CLI. So, let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have Docker and Docker CLI installed and running on your system. If you haven't done that yet, don't worry. Check out our video on Docker installation on Linux. All right, let's open up our terminal and start managing our Docker containers using the Docker CLI. The Docker CLI provides a set of commands that allow us to control and interact with containers. Let's get started with the basics. First, let's pull few images from the Docker Hub and run them. This part was covered in detail in the last video. But I will quickly go through the process. I will pull the engine X image and the Tomcat image. To pull an image, run the command, docker pull, followed by the image name. You can find more details by directing to the Docker Hub website, from, hub.docker.com. To run a pulled image, execute the command, docker run, dash it, dash d dash p, host machine port you want to map, colon, container port that the application runs, and then the image name. By default, Nginx runs on port 80, while the Tomcat runs on port 8080. Let's keep the default ports as it is, and run the containers. Now that the containers are started, let's see the list of running containers. For that let's run the command, docker ps. Here, we can see a list of containers currently running on our system. Each container has a unique container ID, image name, and status. This information is crucial for managing our containers effectively. Next, let's talk about accessing container logs. Docker captures the logs generated by containers, and we can easily view them using the docker logs command. Here's how. To view the logs of a container, run the command, docker logs, followed by the container ID. Let's view the logs of the Tomcat container. Wonderful! The docker logs command shows us the logs produced by the container. This is incredibly useful for debugging or monitoring the behavior of our applications running inside the container. Now, let's explore how we can inspect container details. Docker provides the docker inspect command, which gives us detailed information about a specific container. Let me show you by inspecting Tomcat container. Run the command, docker inspect, followed by the container ID or name. Look at that. The docker inspect command provides us with a wealth of information about the container, including its configuration, network settings, and more. This can be really helpful when troubleshooting or understanding the container's internals. Now, let's say we want to stop a running container. We can use the docker stop command. Let me demonstrate by stopping the Tomcat container. For that, run the command, docker stop, followed by the container ID or name. Excellent. The Tomcat container has been successfully stopped. You can verify by running docker ps command again and noticing that the Tomcat container is no longer in the list. We also can list the stopped containers. For that, run the command, docker ps, dash a. We can see the stopped Tomcat container listed here. Next let's move on to removing a container entirely. To do that, we can use, docker rm command, followed by the container id or name. I will remove the Tomcat container. Let's verify it by running docker ps a again. Perfect. The Tomcat container has been removed from our system. Keep in mind that you cannot remove a running container, so make sure to stop it first using the docker stop command. That wraps up our overview of managing containers with the docker CLI. We've learned how to list running and stopped containers, stop and remove containers, inspect container details, and view container logs. These commands form the foundation of container management in Docker. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, 
and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.